Okay, today we're going to be recoating this dining table with Fitty's Hard Wax Oil in the sheen level of silk. Now, we've sanded this table, finished it at a 150, um, and we're ready to rock and roll. Now, opening it with my trusty Fitty's tin opener. I actually have already given this a mix, but I did want to show you the consistency that should be. It's always very important to mix your tins because the matting agent does go to the bottom. So we want to make sure we've mixed it well. So you can see here the consistency of that. That's the ideal consistency. We'll pour some in. Now, of course, you will see, I'll show you, I'll be open and honest. I spilt some before. <laughs> so I've just wiped it off. So that's what those marks are. Okay, so pour that much in. I'm using just a mini microfiber roller. This is a short nap, four mil. Now your, aim, your coverage rate, you're aiming at around 25 square meters per liter. Now you'll often find that you'll use more on your first coat and less on your second coat, but that will average out to 25 square meters approximately. Now I'm not applying a lot of pressure here because we're not trying to push it out of the roller. You can see by the way I'm holding it, very gentle, not digging down. So easy with a roller. You could use a brush, but why would you bother on a piece like this? Maybe something a little more smaller or intricate you would use a brush but definitely no need in this situation much faster to do it with a roller silk sheen level. Silk is about halfway between matte and satin. So if you don't like the flatness of matte, but you don't like the shininess of satin or even gloss for that matter, silk is a perfect option for you. Now these spots here where I spilt some and just wiped it up, they will not show. As you can see, just go straight over them no issues at all. And voila, first coat done. Okay, so our table is dry. Uh, it is uh, three and a half hours ago that we did the first coat. Um, 
the conditions here today are in low to mid 20s so it's warm and there's a slight breeze so perfect conditions for drying i could have um actually gone to this a little bit earlier but um was busy so originally i was going to knock it back with a scotch bright pad abrasive pad but i haven't got any so now i'm using a sanding block and i've got a circular disc a 240 um it's actually been used so it's slightly worn and i'm just going to have to knock it back with that so we're making do with that and then we will wipe away all the dust and we'll be able to put our second coat on so i'm going to go ahead and do that now Okay, so we have de-nibbed that. Um, so, and then you would have seen that I've also wiped over it with a brush and a cloth. And then after I stopped that video, I actually got a clean microfiber cloth and just went over it again as well, just to make sure that there's no dust. And um, I think I've got it all off. Um, now I've pre-mixed this already, so we're ready to go. I wasn't happy with my last roller frame, so I've got a different one. Hopefully we'll get a smoother, uh, we'll be able to roll on a bit smoother here. Now, as far as the denibbing went, um, it's important to note that we don't need to cut this back for the second coat to mechanically bond to that first coat. All we're doing is what we call denibbing. So you're just taking away any furriness that you might feel. So that's why I kept feeling over the table just to make sure I hadn't missed any, uh, any areas. And, um, and yeah, we're ready to rock and roll. Just as we've started coating, the breeze has picked up. So I will work in sections so that I can make sure I can come down the length of the table, make sure that we don't have any roller marks or anything. Just in case this breeze just starts to dry it off a little bit too quickly. Ideally, you wouldn't want any breeze while you're applying it. The breeze is great for drying, but not for application, as you could imagine. As you can see, sometimes I've gone across the table instead of up the table. But especially with your final coat, you always just want to go the direction of the grain if you can. But it is pretty forgiving as well. And obviously in certain situations you can't always do that. It's definitely a benefit of using hard work soil. around and do the edges. Sand, I think. Yep, I reckon we are good. I think we're done. It was an easy one day renovation. Okay, 
here we are. Here's the finished product back in its home, ready for us to use. It was a nice, quick and easy update and renovation of our table. And now I'll be maintaining this and cleaning it with the Fitties surface spray. Very happy with that.